In the month of July, we specially commemorate the death anniversary of Servant of God, Mara Banos, the architect of Reunion Movement who led the Syro Mongrites to the Catholic Communion. This year, we are celebrating the 67th death anniversary of Servant of God and the 90th year of the Reunion Movement. Ten years, in 2030, we are celebrating the big celebration of the 100th year of Reunion Movement and the big jubilee of the 2000th year of the beginning of the preaching of Jesus Christ. We, the MCC children of Sierra Manga Catholic Church in North America, is trying to learn about the roots and the identity of our church and the spirituality of our Father, Servant of God, Mara Manus. We are specifically trying to find out the meaning of one of the quotes of Mara Manus. Earning God is nobler than serving God. We pray that learning Ivanian way leads us to the truth, Jesus Christ himself, and help us to get a deeper understanding on what our role and purpose in the land of North America and in the Universal Catholic Church. Before starting our spiritual journey on Ivanian Way, let us take a brief dive into the life history of the Servant of God and a short history of the Zero Manga Catholics. Yivahi was born on 21 September 1882 at Putikava in Mavelikara as the son of Thama Panikar and Annama of Panikar Vida. After his training in elementary school, he joined the CMS English School nearby and later continued his studies in a government public school. The Jacobite Metropolitan Pulico de Mar de Vanacios, who was edified by the pious, intelligent, and brave child Givagis, took him to the seminary in Gordam for a higher studies and for priestly formation. He completed matriculation from MD Seminary High School. Later, he passed the Fellow of Art exam from CMS College, Gordam. He secured his BA and MA degrees in history and economics, respectively, from Madras Christian College. Bulico de Martivanasios ordained him a deacon and the church at Putinkal. As a deacon, he spent his days preaching on the sacraments to revivify the Manga church. Weakened by strife and litigations, thus he came to be named Kudasha Shemashin, Deacon of the Sacraments. Deacon P.T. Givergis was appointed principal of the renowned MD Seminary High School in 1908. He was ordained priest by Vartasheril Mazevanasios at Perumala Seminary on August 15, 1908. He became famous as an M.A. Achin, as he was the first M.A. degree holder among the Syrian priests of Kerala. To settle the disputes and litigations, M.A. Achin established the throne of the Catholicos in Malankara in the year 1912. Father P.T. Girigis served as professor of history, politics and economics in the University of Sarampur, Bengal. It was during this period that he got inspired by the Indian culture in Sanyasa and started a new religious movement, Sanyasa Prasthana, in collaboration with the students whom M.A. Achin brought from Kerala to Sarampur to pursue higher education. He attended to found an ashram in an isolated place and wanted to engage himself in activities of the love of God, the spiritual awakening of the Manga church, and the upliftment of the downtrodden of the society. Eventually, he resigned his post at the university and founded the Order of the Imitation of Christ also known as Bethany Ashram, at Mundanmala in Rani Pilmada. He was ordained bishop after the name Maravanyos. He founded a religious congregation for women, 
known as the Sisters of the Imitation of Christ, also known as the Bethany Mother, after he was ordained Bishop of Bethany. He maintained and undertook the penance, prayers, and rituals of monastic life. He says, At this time, I am strongly urged by the Spirit of God to offer myself as a sacrifice for church unity. After being consecrated as the Bishop of Bethany, he devoted himself to constant prayer, penance, and meditation on the Word of God. Metropolitan Maravanos had dedicated his life to revive the Malangara church weakened by disputes and litigations. In his own words, the Almighty God invites me to dive deep into the vast ocean of his everlasting love. At the time when the Metun Kakshi Bishop's Party and the Bala Kakshi Catholicos' Party were engaged in court litigations, he toiled to bring peace and reconciliation in the church. The Synod of the Orthodox Church convoked at Parumala in 1926 as a solution to find lasting peace in the church, proposed the reunion of the Malangar Church with the Catholic Church, and authorized Maravanos to hold negotiations with Rome for the same. After persevering endeavor for four years, Rome accepted the proposal of Maravanos for union. However, as a verdict of the civil court came in favor of the Metron Kakshi, they backed out of reunion and divorce. Servant of God Maravanos, a brave and courageous truth seeker, through his unique spiritual journeys to seek out the truth with tearful prayers break the anchor ropes of Coon and Cross that split the St. Thomas Christians into two groups. By the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he entered into the Catholic Communion on September 20th, 1930, along with another bishop, Matthiophilos, Reverend Father John, Reverend Deacon Alexander, and Mr. Chaco Kilil, a representative of the laity. He entered into the communion with the Catholic Church by making a pledge before Bishop Aloysius Maria Benzagor of Coilon, preserving their ancient rites and rituals. This event was the response of the reunion efforts of 300 years begun after the division in 1653. He is known as the prophet of the reunion movement. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, When you look for me, you will find me. Yes, when you seek me with all your heart. This is fulfilled in the life of Maravanos and through the reunion movement. The Malangar Catholic Church did not abandon its liturgy and the reunion with the Catholic Church. Rather, it resolved to preserve it in fact. Because this liturgy is considered a great treasure for the whole church. The Holy See allowed the Malangar Catholic Church to continue to follow the same liturgy. By faithfully preserving this liturgy, the Malangar Catholic Church has contributed to the enrichment of the liturgical treasure of the Catholic Church. Through constant prayer, penance, and fasting, Maravanos, the servant of God, endeavored to preserve the Syrian liturgy and traditions. He tried to maintain the Antiochian liturgy in its fullness and sanctity. He made all efforts to give this to the faithful. The growth of the Mongar Catholic Church is imitable to other churches. This was possible because of the testimony of the great spiritual life of Servant of God Maravanyas. He stated, liturgy is the source of church life. Ultimate goal of all church activities is to prepare the faithful for active worship. As the children of Syro Mongar Catholics, we have the responsibility to learn the roots and identity of our church. Our liturgy is to develop a love towards our church and liturgical celebrations. We have the responsibility to act as a bridge to bring the non-Catholic brethren, 
specifically Monica Orthodox and Syrian Orthodox churches, to the Catholic Communion. At this time, let us pray for the unity of church and vision of our dear many be carried over through us. 